24% of South Africans are on Facebook, and the number of Twitter users has risen from 2.4 million in 2012 to 7.4 million. With so many people online expressing their opinions, there's bound to be conflict. But a social media expert says it's not about being either a unifier or a divider. You can communicate and sow division as well as communicate and unity. So the technology platforms have just purely amplified what's been happening in terms of public sentiment, whether it's fees must fall, hashtag Zuma must fall, Oscar Pistorius, you name it. Khan says people mostly don't feel accountable for their online actions, encouraging abusive behavior. However, online confidence can help when it comes to awkward discussions like race and white privilege. Social media allows people to um, express their opinions much more freely. It's become a much more frank discussion, something that perhaps is a bit more awkward when you're face to face with someone of a different race and you're not too sure how to bring these things up because the computer screen protects you. South Africa has seen various Twitter wars over the years, including politicians attacking journalists. I don't think it's necessarily divisive. The problem, though, happens when you attack personality, when you attack character and, and not, the, uh, not the story or not the commentary itself. Khan says the question of whether social media is used for constructive open dialogue or if it inflames the racial and social divides of South Africa is reflective only of those who use it. Bibi Aisha Vidvala, Cape Town.